really fun shoe. You know, this is the kind of shoe I love, bare bones. <laughs> I'm using the Voigtlander 75 Ultron, the 1.9, uh, the SF24D on the camera. I use it with and without. And I had a quick, quick commercial shoot in the beginning, just a couple jackets, and then into the shoot. Uh, we shot inside, outside, flash, no flash. This is the fun of shooting and, and just <laughs> play and have fun and, and see what you can come up with. Anyway, enjoy the shoot. If you have any questions, leave them below. The first part of this shoot is a commercial shoot. It is for a new brand. Um, these are hoodies. They're like $500 a piece. Um, but this is a new brand bought by the original owner. Um, long story, but it's amazing. This is a Porsche um, racing jacket or racing hoodie, if you will. Um, I love these jackets. They're very, very cool. On the inside of this coat, there is an entire history of Porsche in photos. Um, and it really made it, a, you know, a, a unique hoodie. This next one um, is all made of silk ties, which is very, very cool. Uh, this was this was a fun shoot. And I, like I said, I just wanted to show you a couple of photos from this. I'm using mostly ambient light. Um, in the end here, you know, I'll show you a couple with the, with the flash because I just wanted to have fun with it, um, give some motion to it, uh, just motion blur and something different for the brand. Um, but the rest of the photos really have to be painstakingly um, uh post-processed uh, for the brand to make sure they're, you know, perfect. Um, and I just didn't have time to uh, share them with you in this uh, video. Now, outside the studio here, we're going to walk around the building a little bit. The flash, it works perfectly um, in TTL and uh, automatic mode. Um, manual, not so much, but because you can only adjust it so much in manual. It's not like a full manual adjustment. It's only like minus three to a plus three, and it's still quirky with that. Uh, but if you're using an automatic mode or TTL mode, it, that's a really nice job. And it's only the CR123 batteries, I believe they're, they're called, um, which I just order in bulk from Amazon, so it makes them a little less. Uh, but they're still more than double A's or triple A's. But you see out of camera, the exposure is, is pretty close to, um, pretty close to very accurate, <laughs> if you will. This, these were shot in between like 200 and 400 ISO. Um, but the room was very, very dark. You can't really tell with the video, like I said, but, uh, you know, the next shot is the ambient light coming through the window and it was at 12,500. Uh, so, so it's pretty, yeah, it's a pretty dim room. Um, but don't be afraid of higher ISOs when you're shooting, uh, you know, pump it up a little bit and, and use it. Cause I mean, this is a beautiful photo, a photo at 12,500 ISO and most modern cameras, no matter what they are, can do a great job with it. Now we're, we're another dark hallway. I'm just using flash. It, it works. It's just, I have no complaints with this flash whatsoever. Um, and just switching from center weighted to, um, spot metering, it, it depending on the situation or the, you know, the place you're in really does a nice job with the flash. Uh, now this first, this is out of focus. I mean, it's, I, I missed focus on this one. I probably missed focus on four or five, uh, throughout this shoot, but I like the photo so much. I just kept it and you can see the, you know, the flash is adding just that little kick of light, to, uh, to make it just pop a little bit more. Now this here is a bad, uh, framing cause I have that horizontal line going through her head. So I just raised the camera higher to hide that horizontal line going through her head um, and and be able to use that, well, dumpster <laughs> as the backdrop um, without, you know, putting something through her head and, and driving me a little crazy. Now, the other thing with the with the flash, it's very good close-up. Um, it does a really good accurate uh, exposure close-up, which is really surprising to me for considering how old this flash is. Um, but you can see with just a little bit of on-camera flash outdoors, um, it does add a little something to the images that you wouldn't get without a flash. Um, you know, and not taking giant modifiers and big flashes and just using ambient light and, and using this for a kick. You know, that first one there, that was without flash. And, and it's good. I mean, it's a great photo, don't get me wrong. But if I add flash, I add just a little bit of of popped the image, it warmed it up just a little bit. Um, I like the look 
Uh, so, you know, don't, don't be afraid of using on camera flash when you're outdoors, just dial it back a little bit. You know, um, for me, uh, I have this at minus three on the automatic mode. I believe I was shooting at, um, now this, I shut off the flash, uh, because I didn't want to hit it, hitting the branches or that, uh, foreground object, which would, you know, obviously make that a lot lighter. Um, so these I couldn't use flash on, but they're beautiful images and the sun was, you know, like really in our favor at this point. Um, you know, it's an overcast sky, but the sun, you know, was peeking through just a little bit and, and gave some really nice light. Now back in the studio, um, again, I, I, I have her away from the background a little bit, but it's really picking up. I'm using center weighted metering that spot. Um, you know, it just works. It's, it's, they're beautiful images. I'm only using it on camera flash, nothing else. Um, mixed with the ambient light coming in from the window, it does a nice job. And you can tell like, uh, the backdrop, you know, sometimes it, it, it'll go to a cast of a bluish because of the windows. Um, and that last one I corrected a little bit, um, but so much fun using just the camera, one lens, one flash and nothing else. Uh, it was a fun shoot. This is the way I love to shoot. Um, and I can shoot like this every day of the week if I, you know, if I was able to, uh, this is, this would be my choice. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this shoot. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching as always.